we start, please? the mother of African entrepreneurs. Thank you and welcome to this most, you know, the 22nd of March is exciting for many reasons. Every year, Mr. Olumulu gets older and wiser. Um, and every year, and every year he gives, you know, on your birthday you receive gifts, yeah? Um, but on his birthday he gives, and he gives to a thousand entrepreneurs from across the African continent. Africa is not one country, it's 54 African economies, it's 54 cultures, it's 54 histories. And we, from a tiny foundation, well actually no, it's a huge foundation, it has huge ambitions. Um, from our foundation, we touch the lives of people, of entrepreneurs across the continent. Today, as we have done in the last four years, this is our fifth anniversary of the entrepreneurship program. The Tony Lumulu Foundation was founded in 2010. So next year, we'll be celebrating 10 years of this extraordinary pioneering organization for the African continent. You recall, Mr. Ch um, Chairman Founder, that in 2015, we set up, we put up a very rigorous transparent and incredible selection process at the start of our program. We wanted to ensure that nobody outside told us the program is corrupt or that it's friends and families that are getting through. Remember in 2015, we received 20,000 applications came to our portal. This year alone, we had 216,000 come to our application portal from 54 countries. So at the start of the program, it was really important that we are transparent, we are credible. Nobody could point a finger to us and say, you're selecting your friends. And with the, so we put that, that selection criteria um, to identify Africa's finest entrepreneurs for the entrepreneurship program. You only have to go and read 500, 600 testimonials of the entrepreneurs that have gone through the program to know the impact that we are making. Um, to ensure that each of the applications pass through the highest standards of rigor, of ethics, of transparency, and quality assurance. In 2015, we engaged Accenture development partners to review the application and make the selection of the 1,000 entrepreneurs. You will be amazed, uh, you will be actually surprised how we surpassed, surpassed our 1,000 target. I won't um, go into that, but it is really, so you are here to now listen to Accenture Development Partners 
as they take you through the methodology, the selection criteria, the extraordinary detail that we go through in screening the 216,000 who registered on our portal, the 66,000 that actually submitted their application. And what they will share with you is the methodology and, and, and the results of that extraordinary process that starts from the moment that the applications apply to the 22nd of March today. Um, I, so it is my great pleasure, and this year, I know, um, Chairman, we have actually opened up so that other people can witness this transparent process. And I'm delighted to in, that we have invited guests from around the globe, from the African continent, to see just how rigorous, how transparent, and to have the selection process explained. The question that we are always asked is, how do you select the top 1,000? Well, today you will witness and you will hear. And what we'd like you to do is to amplify that story, that this is an extraordinarily transparent, credible program. And I welcome you. Thank you very much. Amanda, that was very nice. Thank you very much. So, Asensio, but before then, let's, uh, we have um, the excellencies with us. In fact, I'm like, I'm, I'm used to his excellency, her excellency, so it's like, what next now? <laughs> we have the excellencies with us here. Yeah? We have, uh, I'd like to, to, let's start from Tunisia, I will be, Ambassador of uh, Republic of Tunisia here, yeah? Your Excellency. His yes. Excellency, Ambassador of France in. Yes. Her Excellency, the UK High Commissioner. Yes. Her Excellency, African Entrepreneurs. <laughs> and His Excellency, the German Ambassador to Nigeria. And a powerful lady there, very soon she will shake this room <laughs> from African Development Bank. And of course, uh, the first partners we got, the Red Cross, Nigerian Red Cross, is here too. And we have. But right in front of me, we have the CEO of Development Bank of Nigeria, Tony. We have the CEOs of uh, our companies. Val is a group CEO of Transco, Symbol, CEO of uh, Avon, and it goes on and, and on. The Board of Trustee members. So, Asensio, over, over to you. Thanks. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, Osato Noah is my name. I work with Accenture, and I lead Accenture Development Partnership in West Africa. Accenture Development Partnership is that part of Accenture that is focused on the development sector or social impact, as we call it. And we, uh, we work across uh, most countries that Accenture work as well. I'll be walking you through the process we've undertaken and the methodology we've adopted in the selection of the applicants, uh, this year's winners of the Foundation's Entrepreneurship Program. In terms of the outline of my discussion today, I'll be taking you through an overview of what this program is all about. I'll be setting the context, what we set out to achieve through this program, and then I'll then be telling you the methodology and the selection criteria that we've defined and adopted to ensure that whoever goes through this program or whoever is selected as part of this program is just the best in the Lord that applied. 
and then subsequently I'll be walking you through the emerging outcomes or trends based on the initial uh, numbers of applications we received and then the final selection, what the trends are uh, that we've seen in those selections. So these are the four key areas I'll be walking you through in the next uh, few minutes, hopefully. So in terms of, just to set context about this program, the program is a, is a $100 million uh, business incubation and acceleration program. That is the Tolinumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. It is actually aimed at fostering the emergence of the, new, of the next wave of African entrepreneur. And to do these, uh, specific uh, impact, uh, desired impact have been set. The foundation intends to support 10,000 businesses over the 10 year period. And by doing these, uh, creates about uh, a million jobs in the process and then generate $10 billion in revenue across Africa. And for the entrepreneurs that are selected or that undergo this program, besides the seed capital they will receive, there are a lot, uh, a lot of things they stand to gain or benefit from. Transformational exercise that they have to go through a process that they have to go through such that not just the money they get at the end of the day, but their concept of their concept and understanding of businesses is totally transformed from just going through the program alone. So there are key, seven key pillars that uh, are actually adopted in ensuring that people that go through this program, when they are out of the program or through the program, their lives, the kind of, the way they think about businesses, the way they do businesses are never the same again. And this has to do with the kind of mentoring they are exposed to as part of this program, mentors who have gone through this process before, who are captains of industries, leaders in their own business areas. They are attached to these mentors to actually walk them through the process and guide them as they shape and begin to develop their business ideas into proposals and into everything they need to do. Then, uh, enterprise toolkit that they have access to, to be able to develop and utilize the tools that are available to shape their businesses, even uh, from conception to whatever stage they want to get it to. We also have the, uh, the TEF Entrepreneurship, or the Tony Melu Foundation Entrepreneurship Forum that happens every year where they meet others to network and get to know other people, what they're doing and every other thing, and also learn from them as well. Then we have the meetups where people are visited in their various countries and also begin to network and associate, and we are able to engage them, understand their challenges, and, and by so doing, also help them to, uh, also guide them through on how they can overcome some of those challenges. At the same time, we have an online resource 